Hello, in this video we are going to look at how to create cameras in Maya 2016 and also how to export our work. So um, first we look at um, cameras which we can use to change the view of a shape that we've created. So to um, use the camera we can click on create and then cameras and select camera and then that will automatically um, insert a camera onto our workspace here. And just like any object in Maya, we can move it around um, we can uh, rotate it, so we can rotate it on a particular axis, and we can also um, uh, resize it as well. So um, basically, if we move this camera around, we could um, have it pointing up, we could uh, have it nice and close up. Okay, so you can change the uh, camera view, you can change the angle, um, move it around and um, be looking at an object from a completely different perspective from just the instead of just the top front and side or perspective view you can choose a perspective by um, creating a camera okay so that's one thing that we can do um, now looking at how to uh, render an object um, there's a few things we need to do here so up the top here we've got render view um, so we can open the render view to see what the um, animation or shape will look like once it's rendered and we can also change the render settings from here we can either do it from here or um, just from here as well so if we click on that button it will take us to the render settings now there's a few settings that we need to take care of here so firstly it will show where um, the file is actually going to save to once we've exported it or we'll rendered it um, and then there's a few settings here so we can either um, export as a movie so on a Mac, you'll have the option of QuickTime Movie. On Windows, you'll probably have the option of AVI. And if you select that, then you should be able to ch change the compression settings. Um, or you can choose a range, a number of different image formats. So I'm going to choose JPEG because I'm going to export um, each frame as an individual image. And then it can be opened up in a program like Premiere Pro and then be turned into and it can turn into an animation there okay so if you're doing more professional work it's actually better to export each frame as an individual image and then um, import them into a program like Premiere Pro and um, then uh, put it together as an animation there or video there okay so I'm going to export these as individual JPEGs you need to also take note of the extension or file naming here so you can either change it to um, uh, if you're doing a simple single frame just have the file name and then the extension if you're doing a whole heap of frames then you can either choose name underscore underscore and then the number of the frame and then the extension or name number extension um, etc so I'm going to choose this format of name dot number dot extension if I scroll down you can choose the frame range here. So I've got 48 frames here. So it's, it will start on the first frame and end on the 48th frame. So you can choose uh, how many frames you want to uh, render here. And you can also skip frames as well. So I'm going to do all 48 frames. And then you can also choose the camera as well. So you can either just choose the perspective view, front, side, or top. Or you could choose the camera that we just created so we've got camera one there the one that we just created but I'm going to stick with perspective view and you can also change the size as well so you could ch um, change the presets there to uh, like HD settings there I'm going to leave it just as it is so I'm not going to change the width or the height or the resolution or anything like that um, if you go to the Maya software tab you can also change the quality from custom preview intermediate production and so on so um, I'm just going to leave it as intermediate quality and click on close to get out of that. And then up here, if you change the menu from modeling to rendering, well, actually you don't need to change it. If you're on the modeling menu, you'll probably still have this toolbar here, these tools here, but basically you need to click on batch render and click on continue if you get that message. So, okay, so that's finished rendering. So now we can go to the folder that it's rendered to which was in my documents folder and then the Maya folder default and then images. So that's where I chose for it to render to. And it should, uh, all 48 frames here 
they should be here. Yep, so they are, all 48 frames are there. And if I just preview these um, individual images and cycle through, you can see that each frame has rendered as an individual image. Okay, so all the images are there. I could then go ahead and open up those images in Premiere Pro and um, put it all together as an animation there, making sure that I match the frame rate of this animation. So this animation has a frame rate of 24 frames per second. So if I'm going to um, put it into Premiere Pro, I need to match that frame rate. All right, so that's basically how to create cameras and how to export your work in Maya. Thanks for watching.